To make a Gantt chart, most people use tools like Excel, MS Project, or PowerPoint. We have already made tutorials on these topics. However, if you prefer working in Word, you're in the right place. Today, we'll show you exactly how to create a Gantt chart in this software. Before you start creating a Gantt chart, you need to prepare a list of project tasks. Since a Gantt chart requires a timeline, you'll need more space. Therefore, it's better to change the page orientation. To do this, go to Layout, Orientation, and click Landscape. Then select Narrow in the Margins drop-out menu. Let's also add a title and move on to create a table that will serve as a basis for our future Gantt chart. To insert the table, open the Insert tab, expand the Table menu, and click Choose Row and Column. Now, here's a tricky moment. You should select the number of cells in the table according to the number of days and tasks in your project. In our case, it would be 31 days and 8 tasks. However, we're going to select 35 columns to allow for the tasks name area and 9 rows, considering an extra line for the days. Now, let's make some tweaks to our future chart. Highlight the table and select Table Layout. Here, we should configure the height and width of the rows. Simply click on the arrows or type a number. To create the task's name area, select the first four rows, go to Table Layout again and click on Merge Cells. Repeat the same with all the lines. In the merged rows, you may add the list of tasks you have prepared in the beginning. In the cells on the top of the table, you can add numbers from 1 to 31, which are the days of the month. Reduce the font size and the size of the first row, since you won't require so much space there. Now, your table should look like this. We're only one step away from the finish. Let's add the bars that represent the duration of the tasks. For example, I intend to spend 6 days on business overview activities. That's why I select six cells and highlight them to illustrate the amount of time. You can go further do the same with each task, choosing various colors to differentiate them. The result will look like this. To customize your game chart, you may select the edges that need to be removed, go to the appeared pane, and choose no border type of visualization. Don't forget to change the alignment of the task names by selecting the first column and choosing Align Center. Tweak the dates and play around with the title. Then you can select the colored bars one by one and merge the cells. And finally, you can make the background stripes less visible. To do this, highlight the entire space with the colored bars, return to the Table Borders menu, and choose some lighter shade. Here it is, a game chart in Word. As you can see, a Microsoft Word game chart can be used for fairly basic management. Moreover, it can provide a proper level of flexibility should you need to change the duration of one task, you'll have to manually change every other. One of the best tools for game chart creation is Gantt Pro, a professional online project management software. The tool's intuitive interface and a short learning curve will allow you to create your first game chart just in minutes. You can start with a 14-day trial and enjoy all the features included. Once you open the app, you'll see a plus sign in the upper left corner of the screen. Press it and select Create New Project. You'll need to follow these easy steps to visualize your project plan. Click Add a task and it will automatically appear on the right side of the screen. You can move it around to reposition the task on a timeline. Change the start and end dates manually or by using our simple drag and drop feature. The duration of the task is calculated automatically. 
work breakdown structure allows you to maintain organization and hierarchy. With its help, you can divide all functional parts of your project into smaller tasks and subtasks. In GenPro, it's possible to establish dependencies between tasks to visualize how changes in one affect the others. With this feature, you can make corrections to your project plan quickly and painlessly. You can include additional task details in the fields next to each title. Display estimation, priority, budget, assignees, and many more. This software also enables you to create custom fields based on your needs, like labels, checkboxes, or numbers. However, a naked task structure won't be enough should you want to organize human and material resources. Fortunately, in Gantt Pro, you can easily see everyone involved in the project, along with the resources they need. Just invite your team, assign tasks, and track costs by setting rates and units. Plus, the software offers the workload feature. It helps you spot who is overloaded with tasks and who, on the contrary, has time to take on more. This way, you keep things running efficiently and avoid burnout. And that was it for this tutorial. Now you should have a clear understanding of how to create a game chart in Word and in our robust game chart solution. If you are still on the fence, don't hesitate to try out Gantt Pro with a 14-day free trial.